Welcome to Chronicles of Comfort. Our reading of comfort is taken from Psalm 1.3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Many people look forward to the season of autumn since it showcases a colorful display of colors. The leaves of many trees turn from green to bright yellows, orange, and red. Many of these leaves then fall. Probably that is why this season is mostly called fall in North America. But have you ever wondered why does this happen? In other the cooler temperatures and shorter days reduces the production of a hormone called auxin, which regulates growth. Now, this reduction puts a strain on the obsession layer and causes the bond between leaf and branch to weaken. Eventually, because of this weakness, the wind blow the leaves away, and in its weakened stages, they all remain dead underground. Now, there may be some symbolism in this. Looking good is not good enough. We need to have substance in our lives. God wants to provide spiritual warmth for all of us. He helps us to produce faith, which allows us to bond closer to him, regardless of the external conditions we experience. Our relationship with him also prevents us from being blown away by every wind of doctrine. We need to stay protected. The warmth of God's love covers us every day of the year. He is there to help us face adverse conditions. He wants to cast his warmth on us each day. He wants us to be protected from anything that tries to separate us from him. But we must also do our part. Blessed is the man whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. So, as we think about it, Christ is our strength. When we are in Christ, we can be lovely all year. We can face anything the world throws at us. We can stay spiritually alive. And even if we die physically, we know that we will live again. So let us allow Christ to have us flourish every day of the year. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we know that you are our strength. We ask you to keep us in the warmth of your love. Help us to place everything in your hands. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for being with me today. And as always, may the Chronicles of the Bible provide comfort and salvation to you.